Okay, day 13 of my challenge and I thought I would do this edit of uh, Rocky Point shot from near Eagle Bay. And there are three images in this series. They all, all go together hopefully quite nicely. So what I do is I'll just hold down the shift key, select all three, right mouse click and change, well, sorry, go to merge to panorama. And oh, look at that, perfect. Just about what I want. I use generally... We'll flick through each one of these to see uh, what it does, but um, obviously they all will do things a little bit differently. Well, that's good. Call that on the mushroom. Go back to cylindrical, I think. And then I will just move this boundary warp, fill in those gaps. So it's going to be a nice square image. So let's merge that. Click save. And this was shot with my drone. Oh, that came out a bit different. Why did that come out so different? Let's go backwards. Let's find out what happened there. That doesn't seem right. Uh, let's try that again. Merge to panorama. Maybe I won't do the boundary warp this time. I'll just see. That was quite strange. And let's uncheck that. We don't want to do the auto settings. Let's try that again. It's better. That's how it's supposed to turn out, I think. Let's see what happens here. Still saving its little thing. So while it's saving in the background, you can go in and start. <laughs> oh God! Uh, you're kidding me! What the hell, Photoshop, Adobe, you bunch of knuckleheads. Okay, let's just cancel that. Let's open those three again. Oh, yeah, they are oh, frustrating as all hell. Uh, what was that all about? So this was the shoot I did this morning. And here we go. Here's the three I want. One, two, three. Let's try it again. Merge the panorama. I'm happy with all that. That looks good. Merge. Save it. Okay, it worked that time. So looking at this file now, I can see the sky is a little bit light and this is probably needing a little bit of work as well. Maybe a bit of a color, color shift as well. So um, first thing is I look at my shadow detail, bring that up a little bit. Highlights, bring them down a little bit. Make sure that we're not losing anything. Could do with some contrast, but we can put that in later. Um, I'm pretty happy with that look. Color wise, maybe just warm up a smidge like that. And just give the tint a little bit of a more of a purple tone, a little bit of vibrance just to see what we could get, what could what could be. Uh, effects, a little bit of clarity perhaps. And um, that's all pretty good. Uh, color mixer, we could go into the color mixer and just have a look at the luminance maybe of the of the bluey greens here, adding a little bit more light. Let's see that's adding light up in the sky. See how that's posterizing up in the sky there? That's not good. So let's not lighten that up too much. Maybe we'll just look at adding a little bit of saturation like that. A bit of saturation in those red rocks, which is also giving and picking up a little bit there in the sky as well. Okay, I'm going to check my detail now. Let's just cancel that. Go into our sharpening. Have a look. It's a little bit, a little bit on the dodgy side. Fletch, what's going on with that? It's not super sharp. All right, well, let's just try and sharpen it a bit. Adding a bit of sharpening there, looking at masking, bringing the masking right up and getting a bit of luminance in there. Now, normally I would probably go and denoise it, but because we've done a stitch, it won't let us denoise it. Um, the next thing, I look at these, this file and, and I can see chromatic aberration straight up. It just seems to appear to me for some reason. I have a knack for finding it so I always make sure that that's 
detect. And uh, hopefully that will get rid of any of that, that caper that we worry about. Okay, it's looking pretty good now. And I think we could probably export that. So here we go. Let's open it up in Photoshop. Okay, so hit F on the keyboard. And first thing I want to look at is make sure my horizon is straight. And that's pretty good. Close enough for jazz. And I'm going to see for crop and I'm going to make it into a square. So let's see where how far off our square we are. That's pretty close. I think just going to um, hit return. That is a square. I'm going to flatten it layer and some of these areas here will will um fill in pretty easily with uh content aware if you hit um option delete uh, and then return it's a shortcut command d deselect that looks pretty good and i'm just going to do this all in one go now so it's easy. Option delete. Mm -hmm. See? <laughs> Command Z. That uh, wasn't supposed to happen. Huh. Hmm. Okay. Well, that wasn't supposed to happen. Um, oh, come on. Just why aren't you doing it now? Oh, anyway, let's just go to Content Aware Film. We'll do it the hard way. And um, we'll just run a line along there. And hopefully that'll fill that in nicely. And look at that. It did indeed. Okay. Command deselect. And do it the same down here. Hmm. It's filling it with black now for some reason. Edit. Um, fill. Let's just see. Content aware, so it's fine. Command D select. And let's just go across here and do this one. And it's interesting. Anyway, don't know, don't know. I am either confused uh, or something's changed in the last five minutes. <laughs> anyway, maybe I'm getting something wrong. I'm not always right about these things. As much as I know Photoshop, sometimes I wonder what the hell what am I what am I doing wrong? What am I what am I thinking? You know, just looking at that and making sure that works. Pretty happy with that. Oh that water looks a bit dodged, so that's just trying to add a little bit more of a, a random pattern there. That's a bit better. Click OK. And deselect. So that should be our square. That should be exactly square. So if we look at that in the pixels, oh, we're out. Uh, one pixel. That's okay. I can live with that. Um, command option C. Let's have a look at a site with a nice white border around it. And um, see where we can fix it. Now here's a little trick I haven't used for a while. It's called reverse overlay. You duplicate the photograph. Command J. You command shift U it, you, uh, you desaturate it, you invert it, command I. You blur, uh, filter on blur and give it a big Gaussian blur, quite a bit like that, say. You, know, you get it real kind of real blurry. Click OK, change blend mode to overlay. Now you can see how it darkens the dark, uh, lights and lightens the darks. But it can also add a bit of weirdness. Uh, so maybe it's one of those techniques where you just give it a 
a little bit of a go or you do what I'm going to do is add a layer mask and I I'm going to use it through the foreground here which would be kind of nice we can use this as a kind of like lighting really cool lighting effect like oh yes a bit of sunlight's come through and hit hit that foreground a little bit then it's too much just going to darken up those corners a little bit so it looks like a ray of light that's just hit that hill and it's hasn't gone right across there and then let's just put the same thing over the sky we're just going to give it a few little passes here and there and it looks kind of nice let's try that looks relatively natural maybe i'll just turn turn this little bit off here because that seemed to be okay without it and um hmm it's not too not too shabby let's look at it again with a little border around it <clears throat> cool now we could probably take it a little bit further let's have a look at where our levels are Ra ra ra. okay hold down the option key and bring the white point up see where that clipping is which is in the clouds obviously just on the top of that so we know where the problem is added a bit of light through there let's just invert it piece of brush white brush and then we'll just add the light back um white is their foreground color 100 percent and we'll just avoid that um cloud oh there's a message um from somebody you better cancel that just add a little bit more light through there thank you thanks uh, not looking too bad go to adjustments Selective color. Going to look at our reds. Bring some bit of oomph back into our orangey red areas there. And I might just brush it out of this area because it's making that look a bit brown. So that's kind of green. I'll just give that a quick hit with the old brush. <clears throat> yeah, that's good enough. And you can see now that's just giving us a bit of a nice little heave ho there. Um, and we can look at also our greens because that water is quite green. And it's adding a bit of cyan and taking a bit of yellow out um not a great deal of green actually what well, hang on let me go back turn that on and off yeah it's not too bad and let's try the cyans a bit more cyan in there a bit less yellow that's starting to pop that color a bit more now there we go that's good because it is like that on the right day it was a bit overcast okay now let's go back hold down the option key click on the bottom and you can see we're just shipping that light around looks pretty good um, maybe this area here could be fixed up a little bit better let's have a look yeah maybe that's better still looks kind of like the sun's just hitting there and missing rocky point there's a few guys out surfing uh, so that's kind of cool uh, looked like there was a pretty good swell today coming through rocky points good when it's not too big but not too small back in the day when i used to be a surfer not so much these days okay that looks pretty good pretty happy with that and the next thing I might do is let's flatten it off. Let's save it. 
because we don't. Uh, I'm going to call it Rocky Point, and I'm going to give it 43,200 MV3, just to make it really hard to remember and write down. Girls love it. Save it to my C drive. Click OK. At least we've got it saved now. Command option C, let's have a look with a bit of a border. Get rid of our thing, oh, our rulers, command R. Now looking at it now, I can see it probably could do with a little bit more contrast. Maybe through this area of bush, it looks a little bit flat through there. So let's um, have a go at that. I'm going to use the enhanced presence. There we go. But that's really made it pretty pretty gritty everywhere, which I don't like. It looks a little bit too harsh. Let's invert that. B for brush. White as our foreground colour. Right square bracket to make my brush bigger. And just brush that through there. And maybe don't go all the way to the back, but just in this front bit here. Like so. So we can see that the contrast has come back in there a little bit. Is it too much? Too much, perhaps. Let's take it back to say 13%. Yeah, just a little bit. You don't want too much. Now we could go in, um, let's flatten that, save it. And then you would just go back now and look at all the things that are a bit distracting and delete maybe. Um, maybe try and make this speech here a little bit, bit nicer. Maybe get rid of some of that mess. Clean up the beach. That looks a bit distracting. And any sort of any other lumps or bumps or bits that kind of distract you take your attention straight to um, it's good to just get them out hmm well you know it's not the not going to win any awards but um, it's a nice solid uh, landscape photograph save it let's have another look make a bigger border this time And, um, yeah, I think that's quite nice. Save that. Now, I did uh, work on one earlier, another one I was... It was a bit more uh, of a challenge, so I thought the video was going to take a long time, but let me just um, show you that one. So this was taken on the same morning. And this is um, shot with the Leica, with the... Um, 14 mil so these rocks weren't that high but it's nice when you're getting close with those wide angle lenses it makes everything look really much bigger than what it actually is i was pretty much right in front of those rocks but uh, this is uh, the beach was pretty pretty clean up there at the moment this eagle bay uh so yeah i was pretty pretty impressed it's probably the, the best i've ever seen in eagle bay normally there's a bit of weed around lots of footprints but I guess after all the storms and that, all that gets washed away and becomes quite quite good. Anyway, that's a couple of images. That one probably is going to need a little bit more work, but um, looking at it right now, it's just about done. I could possibly maybe chuck a little bit of vibrance in there. A little bit more vibrance. It's a pretty, it's a pretty cheery landscape photograph, but it's a beautiful landscape. It's going to be cheery. Anyway, guys, uh, hopefully you got something from my craziness. See ya.